Hey there collectors, Big Mo here. Just got another statue delivered today. Uh, this is Thor from Endgame. This is Iron Studios quarter scale. They made three um, statues in the quarter scale that forms a nice diorama. You get, you get Captain America, Iron Man, and of course Thor. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look at the art box. It's, it's, a, it's a nice art box. It's got the Avengers symbol at the top there. And just around the back, it's got his, um, got his hammer there. So uh, we'll crack this open and uh, I'll give you a look. It's good the way Iron Studios um, use these straps because it really keeps us nice and secure, um, which is what you want, so you don't get any breakages. Got a super funny story um, when we saw Endgame in the theatre. So I was there with my wife. Now my wife is a massive Chris Hemsworth uh, fan. She gives me so much crap about Chris Hemsworth, um, and, and always, you know, always rubbing, rubbing his good looks in my face. So when we first saw Fat Thor in Endgame, I just let out this massive, uh, massive laugh. I was, I thought it was so funny. You should have seen my wife's face. She was devastated that Thor had put on all that weight. Oh, it was just the funniest thing. All right, check that out. Woo, that's huge. I mean, I have, look, I have massive hands and that is absolutely humongous. I love it. How nice is that? That's so cool, all right. Um, we've also got his hammer, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be using this um, because I'm gonna use the pose where he's got both hands over the, over the other one. So I might, I'm gonna keep that in the box. So I think I'm gonna need I'll need this. Man, that is heavy. That's really heavy. It's one of his arms. And I'll need this, his other arm. Yep, okay, and then we need Thor himself. Right. Now, I bought this, this is not brand new, I bought this second hand, um, and I got a really, really good deal. Here we go. Wow, he's huge, eh? All right, what I'll do, now the base is underneath, so I'm gonna have to tip this upside down and get the base. I'll do that, and then, um, and then I'll show you, I'll show you the finished product. All right, here he is, Mighty Thor, all put together. It's a very nice piece. So they made 1,700 of this Thor. There's only one version and there's only one switch out. So there's one switch out where he holds the hammer. But I've gone with this pose because I've got Captain America holding the hammer on the other quarter scale piece, which I'll show you a bit later. Um, so yeah, first thoughts, uh, really happy with the portrait. Portrait looks uh, looks pretty good, looks pretty spot on. Like I said, that, um, that hammer is absolutely huge. <laughs> it, it definitely stands out in this pose. And I love this scene. This is a scene where um, Thanos is sitting down, you've got Thor opposite, Captain America comes up, Iron Man comes up, um, and just the three of them standing next to each other, um, it's gonna make a really nice diorama. So we'll have a good look at the base. So the base is the Avengers, um, Avengers campus, uh, all blown up. So Thanos has just sent missiles down and, and blown it all up. So um, this is part of the Avengers campus that um, Thor's standing on. So you can see the metal pipe sticking out which looks really good. See drainage pipe down the side there as well. So a bit of rock. And then you've got a bit of grass sort of on the right side of this. So you can see that's where the, 
bottom of the hammer is sitting. It sits nice and flush um, into that grass, which is which is really good. I like that there's a bit of you know a bit of grass just on the side here, just on on um, on the rocks, which looks really good. So just spots of grass. I think it's a nice nice effect. Nice touch there. And then at the back is where you've got, you know, I guess part of the window um, all cracked. So very similar to the back of Captain America's base as well. Which looks really good. So we'll, sh we'll um, just have a good look at his boots. You can see sort of the cracking and the weathering in his boots there, which look really good. It's a nice effect. It's a bit of, sort of bit of bronze. You can see the pattern of his boot underneath there as well, which looks good. And then it goes sort of up into the black, sort of black bronze effect. You can really see the nice wood grain as well. In, um, it's obviously part of group there. And then you can see a bit of uh, weathering on the blade here as well. Got a nice effect. That looks like a bit of just dirt on that one on that side there. His hands sit nice, um, nice together, nicely together. And there's no gaps there, which is good. So it's very well made. You see the strapping there in his um, in his wrists. Get a bit of a side view there, you can see his belly. I wonder if he's uh, gonna lose weight for the next movie, I'm sure he will, I'm sure he'll be back to normal by the, by the time the next Thor movie comes out. You can see just a bit of dirt around the bottom of his cape as well. Now, the base and Thor himself are uh, polystone, like super heavy, very, very heavy. The cape, I think, is PVC, just feels like PV PVC. You can see there's a bit of, um, Bit of movement in the cape there, which is good, so um, it's not going to break. Actually reminds me of, it's the same material, I think, as Toothless as Wings. You know, Sideshow made a Toothless statue. Pretty much that same. I think it's the same PVC in there as well. Just show you around the back. It's the details there of the hammer. So his cape's red from the back. So yeah, right, let's have a look at his portrait now. Some good details in the portrait. Even to the um, different color eyes as well. Got the scarring on the forehead. Some good detail on the beard. So, you know, that's a pretty good likeness. Look, not, not 10 out of 10. I'd give it an eight out of 10 for likeness. But not bad for quarter stone uh, polystone, quarter scale polystone. So yeah, um, I did mention before I got this second hand. Uh, I got a bargain to be honest. So these still retail at Pop Culture for twelve ninety nine, one thousand two hundred ninety nine. I picked this up for six hundred and seventy five on eBay. I was very surprised, blown away. 675 US is what about 480 US about 480 US I got this for so um, got a really good deal um, I was gonna buy this I just was waiting for the stock to go to get down a bit lower I'm uh, looking for a bargain I guess but yeah really happy so there you go there's Thor I'll um, show Captain America next and the last one I'll need is Iron Man to complete the complete the trilogy but I hope you liked that. If you did, please hit subscribe. I've got a lot more statue reviews coming. Thanks for watching.